Uh, my name's Ryan, I work for Wild Creations in Cardiff and I'm the production manager there. Um, when Mark first approached us to work on the Shirley project, we well, the first stage was to come up with a maquette to agree the pose. Um, once the pose was agreed, we then did a 3D scan of Shirley's maquette and put it onto our 7-axis CNC robot. We then had a giant size Shirley which was in a polystyrene form. We took the face element and we covered that in clay so that we could sculpt in the detail. And we took a mold and we cast that out in resin and fiberglass. We then attached that to the body of Shirley and then continued to hard coat the entire body and the spear as well in fiberglass. It then got sanded and filled using our filler that we use and primed ready for painting. And then we had to look for the best placement of where to cut out the heart in Shirley. Um, obviously we went for the most obvious location, but uh, it had to have a good relationship between the right hand reaching out towards the heart. The final coat of Shirley is then a gold leaf paint. So one of the final stages was to put on the jewelry, which was the ring on her hand and the pair of earrings. Once we had all them in location, we then looked how we were going to lift it up using the fabricated hinge system that we'd come up with with our structural engineer, which is the very final stage of lifting Shirley into place.